Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if this is your very first time here, thank you for stopping by. In today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be going over my favorite screen-free activities for toddlers. These activities would be perfect for, like I said, that toddler age. So from ages two to four, I would say, my son turned two back in June, and all of these activities were right up his alley. We just got back from a road trip down in Gulf Shores, Alabama. We live near Chicago. So from Chicago down to Gulf Shores, it was about a 15 hour drive. Unfortunately, our trip was cut way short and uh, we had to come right back up to Illinois because of Hurricane Sally that came through. Um, so we were only down in Gulf Shores for two days. But like I said, it was a 15 hour trip, so I knew that I needed lots of different activities to keep my son interested and entertained for the trip. Thus, I looked at a ton of Pinterest ideas, lots of different bloggers, and gathered and even asked like some friends and family what their favorite ideas were. So all of that gathered together, I have here the ones that worked the best for us and then I have some extra ideas here that didn't super work the best for us and I'll explain why but they I wanted to include them still because they might work for you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first idea that we're going to start with, my sister actually gave this idea to me. She has three boys and she's been on lots of different long trips so I figured that she is a veteran that she would know what she was talking about. So one idea that she had was to buy just some small little gifts, does not have to be anything expensive. Several of these things I got from the dollar store and then several things I got from Target. My son is really into cars right now. So what my sister suggested was to go to the dollar store or buy inexpensive things and actually wrap them. And then every hour or when you know your child or your toddler is starting to get fussy or antsy, have them grab a gift out of a bag. I had this little Halloween bag that my son got last year. I figured that this was perfect to put these gifts in. So when he was getting really fussy, I would have him just reach in the bag and grab a gift that he wanted to unwrap. Okay, the next activity idea I actually got from my friend Claire. Um, I went to her house a couple weeks ago and I thought this was such a cute idea that I just had to do it for Landon. I got this from the dollar store and then my husband had some golf tees um, in his golf bag out in the garage. And then what I did, all I did was use the golf tees to puncture holes in the lid. So what your child does is they find the hole and they just push the golf tee in. You can also like, if you wanted to do this at home, you could have them hammer it in, um, which I guess works on a different type of skill, but them pushing it in is fun too. And then it's easy to store when they want to redo it. You just, you can have them even doing um, like pulling them out too. And then when the activity is oh, all done, just open the lid and pop them in. Thanks Claire for the idea. This is a good one. What I have here are some color popsicle. Whoop. So color popsicle sticks and then this is from the dollar store and then the next one too from the dollar store as well. And what I did is I took, um, I think this was like a piece from a Kleenex box and I just cut it to fit the top. And then um, my son has these Dua Dot art markers. I don't know if you know what they are, but all I did was um, stamp with the markers in each of the like main colors. And then I used an X-Acto knife to cut holes for the popsicle sticks to go in. So it's a nice little color sorting activity. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got this idea from my friend Claire as well. And so you match up obviously the color of the popsicle stick to the color of the <clears throat> of the designated space which obviously 
your child does not have to color match. Sometimes Landon does and sometimes he chooses not to, but it's still a fun activity. And then when you're all done, you can just open them up. Either put the leftover popsicle sticks in, or if you did the whole activity, you can just take them out, put the lid on, and start over. Okay, next activity I had was, so this is something that I just came up with on the fly um, with materials that I already had at home and my son loves this activity, loves it. We did this in the car, we do this at home, he loves it. So this is actually a water bottle and the straw is supposed to go right through here, but it's the perfect hole for putting marbles in. So I have this little chest of marbles and then I have the cup and my son, he loves to put the marbles in the cup. So if you don't have any kind of cup like this, anything that you can cut like a small circular hole in and then just drop marbles in. My son, this was one of his favorite activities in the car. We did this one several times. The next idea that I have here, I think I kind of adapted this idea from Pinterest. What is in here is these are all pouch lids. This is an old like hand sanitizer wipe or um, like the wet ones um, container. And what I did, I used an X-Acto knife and cut a hole in the top. And then if you need to close it, you can just kind of like tuck the lid in there. Um, but this hole is the perfect size to put like pouch lids through. Um, if you wanted to do the marble idea, like I um, just went over and you needed to find something, um, if you needed to find something to put the marbles through, you can just make this hole a little bit smaller and then you can drop the marbles in through here. This was another winner. He loved, loved this idea. The next activity I have was um, opening up little toys from Easter eggs. This idea I just came up with on my own and I'm so glad that I thought of this because it was a big hit with my son. So what I did is I just bought, um, I'll show you, just like a big pack of plastic dinosaurs from the dollar store. And then the ones that could fit in the eggs, I just put in the eggs and then we would make them hatch in the car. So um, when my son was getting fussy or needed a new activity, I would just have him pick an egg out of the bag and then he would open up the egg and then he would play with the dino or whatnot. Um, but the main fun that he had was just taking the dino out and putting it back in. And then I would have to help him seal the egg um, but I sat with him in the back of the car for most of the trip, um, so that was no big deal. The next idea that I have is something else that I came up with, an idea, and this was an idea that I came up with on my own. So this is like an old spice container, and um, I got some colored toothpicks because, I mean, colored toothpicks are way more fun than non-colored toothpicks. And what my son would do is drop the toothpicks in the little holes. Probably, maybe not, maybe not the safest activity to do in the car because of the toothpicks. But you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, this would be good to do on the plane, although I don't know if you can bring toothpicks on a plane. Are they considered a weapon? I'm not sure. But hey, if you don't feel comfortable doing it on a plane or in the car, then this is a great activity to do at home or um, when you're waiting for food at a sit down restaurant or something like that. See, this is like therapeutic. I'm enjoying doing this. The next idea that I had, um, this is something that we already had that I just brought along with because we don't do these too often but they're the Melissa and Doug uh, water wows. If you don't know what the water wow is, is here's the little pen. Well, it's kind of like a little like paintbrush. And all you do 
is you fill up this part with water and then you put it back on and then you press down until water starts coming out and then it'll like paint this picture. So it's completely mess free. All you have to do is put water in the little in the little lid. I thought I was gonna make a mess spilling water in the car, but I surprisingly didn't. And so I just put the water in the lid and then he did painting and this actually entertained him for a while. He enjoyed doing this much more than he enjoyed coloring, but there's a ton, a ton of these um, that you can buy and they're pretty, pretty inexpensive. And this would also be perfect if you were at a restaurant or waiting for something or on a plane ride. The next activity idea I have for you didn't really work out super well, mainly because um, we didn't have any kind of like hard surface to go over his car seat. Um, so I wanted to do like stickers and coloring books for him. And I got him several coloring books at the dollar store. And we did stickers for a little bit, but the coloring, he wasn't really into that because he was getting frustrated that the coloring book kept kind of like collapsing on him because there wasn't a work surface for him to work on. So if you have one of those like activity tables for um, going over the car seat, that would work beautifully. And then also if you're on a plane ride, um, you can put these on like the little tray tables. And then I brought both markers and crayons, but crayons would probably be a better idea um, simply because there isn't a cap. Next idea, which I think I did wrap this and my son did actually unwrap this, is just a simple deck of cards. I know it seems extremely simple, which it is, but my son had a lot of fun, A, unwrapping this, B, opening up the package, and then we just dumped out the cards. And we talked about the symbols, that were on the cards we talked about the colors and then he didn't really get into this part but i was trying to make it extra educational and say oh let's match up the let's match up the colors and let's match up them up the numbers or symbols he didn't want to do that but he did enjoy looking at the cards at least and then the very last activity that i have here another container from the dollar store i didn't um do any kind of color on top and you'll see why in a second these popsicle sticks also came in the pack that I got from Target. And what's cool about these popsicle sticks is they are different patterns. So you have like checks, different types of stripes, and then um, polka dots. And so I just made the holes a little bit bigger here. I know, like, look how uneven those are. <laughs> this is, that was my first time using an X-Acto knife. I'm not gifted, um, but it works. It's I mean, functional. And so you just, I mean, these popsicle sticks are really, really pretty. So they're at least fun to look at. And just same kind of drill, pop them in. So this would be perfect for on a plane, in a car, like I said, waiting at a restaurant. There you go. Okay guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found some new activities to keep your little one interested and engaged on your next road trip or on your next plane ride, or if you're at a restaurant or ever need any kind of screen-free activity for your little one. If you liked any part of this video or found it helpful, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you want to subscribe, I mean, I do lots of different videos, so if this is your type of jam, go ahead and subscribe. But if my other content isn't interesting, then it was nice having you for this video. I hope you take care. Bye.